Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're using candy, chocolate and cookies to make a portrait of Taylor Swift. The bigger you make these pictures, the more accurate you can get it to look of the person's face, but today we're going to make a smaller size so that you could make this sort of thing for a party. To start with, you'll need a printout of the outline of Taylor's face and I'll put a copy of that on the howtocookthat.net website for you and I'll link to that below. Then you want a sheet of perspex on top so that you can see the design through it and so we've got something clean to attach our candy to. And obviously you will need lots of candy as well. To start with, we're gonna do the background and I'm making the one on mine chocolate brown just because I like chocolate. So use some melted chocolate, pipe a little bit on and then add cookies first around her face. And it works best if you add the larger items like the cookies first. and then fit the smaller things like chunks of chocolate in between and then go smaller again with chocolate drops, filling as many gaps as you can. And then finally add the tiny chocolate crispies into the smaller gaps. For her black shirt, I'm using licorice strips sliced up and black candy melts. Now onto her eyes. I'm using a black sixlet for the pupil right in the middle. Make sure you get them in the right place so she doesn't look cross-eyed. And then surround that with little blue sprinkles and white heart lollies on either side. And then use licorice again for her eyeliner. Then add in her brows, you can only really see one, and the shading on her face. and fill in all the remaining gaps with white candy and some pale pink for the cheeks. Again, working from the bigger lollies first down to the smaller white ones. And white sprinkles last. Then use red gummy bears for her bright red lipstick with a lighter highlight in the middle. Then start to define her hair using some licorice strips. And when you add the candy for her hair, try and make it in lines of the same type of candy, just to give it some direction so you can see how her hair goes. And then use some milk chocolate as well in there for the shading. And now the fun part of this dessert is not just looking at it, but eating it. Put it in the middle of the table, give everyone a plate and a knife and let them dig in. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for the Blank Space Heart Cake, here for the recipe and here for my YouTube channel. Put all of your requests in the comments below. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.